All right, Richard, why are we on the bus? Hey guys, we are heading to Global Pet Expo in Orlando and uh, right now this place is so packed we are at the overflow parking lot so we're gonna have to take this bus because where else are we gonna be walking for about 15, 20 minutes? Something like that? I think we're gonna go to Disney World. Disney World? That sounds like a good idea. We also have Shane. He's, he's gonna be driving the bus, right? I am the driver, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> One of the things that really stood out to me for this show was the reintroduction of Jellyfish Art's five gallon tank right there. The Cylinder 5, actually I introduced it to you guys from the video a few years ago and they remade some of the things where it comes up with the better flow and more better lighting. We actually have Joy right here with the owner of the Jellyfish Art. How are you doing man? Excellent. So tell me a little bit, what's the difference between this one and the older model? Um, so these newer models have an upgraded lighting system, um, they have a lot more the options as far as um, as far as uh, brightness, uh, saturation. Um, this is something that um, JC was actually able to uh, figure out for us. Nice. He's been doing a great job over at Jellyfish Art. Yeah, JC's um, a, yeah, he's been a phenomenal. He's doing a spectacular job. Um, we've also changed a bit of the um, the back design, um, increased the flow a little bit by right, uh, right. by having a different dual output pump. Right. Um, that is a quieter model, mm -hmm. uh, so it's quite similar to our um, original Whisper Quiet white pump, mm -hmm. um, but it's a dual output one instead of a uh, larger. Um, the difference is a, a rubber um, diaphragm versus yeah, yeah. a um, thin plastic membrane that vibrates at a higher frequency. Awesome. Um, so it allows for a quieter operation on a normal uh, yes. aquarium. And you know, um, just just in case you didn't know, actually they won the best product of the year at Global for I think two consecutive years. Right? That we did, yes. Yeah. Uh, one year for, for the, the Jelly Cylinder Nano and one year for the uh, Jelly Cylinder 5. Right, so this is a welcome edition, well, welcome back edition, because this was out for, for, for a little bit until when you guys were switching out the warehouse, it took a while right. for it to come back. Right, we had, a, we had a bit of a transition when we went from our old location to our new location. Right. Luckily, we're fully in our new location. Everything's uh, settling yeah. in. We've been right, there for right. almost a year at this point. It looks amazing. Um, we're, we're very happy. We'd hopefully like to have you come over and, sure. and take a tour and uh, yeah. have some video on it. But. Um, Actually, uh, a lot of these corals that you see in this uh, aquarium over here are going to be uh, loading up our big display no, tank. Uh, over that's there as awesome! Well. I saw the I saw the video that you guys just got the water in last week, right? Uh, yeah, it was pretty recent. Okay, gotcha. That's awesome. Well, that's the first thing that I wanted to show you. That's some amazing jellyfish tank. The second product that I wanted to show you guys that I think this is sure worthy is from eShop. This is actually from Alpha Class that they recently released. This is called a Prodigy Overflow. This is possibly the smallest, the thinnest overflow in the world. Um, if you see over here, this is actually only eight millimeters thick on the wear and the overflow box itself. It's something that's very exciting. I like this because it makes everything look so sleek in your aquarium and it doesn't take too much space. And for us aquarists um, that, that are constantly fighting to, to have more space in our aquarium, is something that you should definitely consider if you're in the market for one. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys that I think is show worthy is from JBJ. This is actually, it's been around the market for close to one year now. However, not a lot of people know about this one. This is called a, a rimless flat panel from JBJ. This is actually one of the better tanks that I have personally seen. This is all Starfire, well, low iron glass. And one thing that's really good for me is that this was actually all the stand comes pre-assembled. <laughs> so that's a huge thing for me for a person that has I guess subpar level of uh, being handy. 
I'm not handy at all. I have a handiness of a tree stump. For me, this is really good because this is really nice. The panels are really good. As I said before, it's a low iron, so you can see the clarity and visibility is amazing on this one. Everything is pre-assembled, so no requirement of making stuff. Filtration in the back has possibly, this is all in one tank, and for all in one tank, this is the largest filtration spot that I have seen in the back, which is excellent because I have a 25 gallon like this one. I was able to fit a skimmer in there. I was able to put a biomedias in there, filter socks in there, and the standard filter socks at that, and it works, it's beautiful. And they did an excellent job. And you know what else we do? We offer m and Yeah, trust me, they didn't. There's another product that I wanted to showcase from this show was from Dr. Tim. Dr. Tim is no stranger to this industry. He's one of the pioneers in, in bacteria in this industry, and we know how important that is. And he has a very exciting product, and he's going to explain it to us. What is this, Dr. Tim? So the Waste Away Gel is our Waste Away bacteria in a gel form. You put it anywhere in the system where there's water flow, and 24-7 it time releases a little bit of bacteria in the water. And that bacteria consumes nitrate, phosphates, and organics, and de you know, degrades the detritus. And what that bacteria does is takes all those nutrients and outcompetes the hair algae and cyanobacteria. So that's how we naturally prevent hair algae and cyano, mm -hmm. is by using bacteria to capture those nutrients. Gotcha. And then we don't have to worry about um, things like overpopulating population of bacteria or anything like that because it's time release, right? It's right. It's doing a little bit all the time. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to worry about removing your skimmer, turning off your skimmer, your filter sock. You can run all the contraptions you want, yeah. which unintentionally remove bacteria from the system. That's right. why people say don't over skim. That's right. what over skimming is, right, right. it's really removing too much good bacteria. This just puts that good bacteria back in mm -hmm. and sequesters that nitrates and phosphates, degrades organics, so your system stays a lot cleaner. Gotcha, and then for placement of this in the sump, like, do you put it, put it where there's a lot of flow, or do you just put it anywhere? Anywhere. We prefer you don't put it where there's a lot of flow, just where yeah. there's some flow. It is in a plastic case, mm -hmm. but you don't really want it where the water's jetting right down on it. Gotcha. And then how long something like this lasts? Lasts 30 days. It'll change to a gray color when mm -hmm. it's worn out. Everything's biodegradable. And then you can just replace it with a new gel. Perfect. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Always great to see you, Richard. Likewise, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. This is actually very exciting for me because this is the first year in Global that Biota had the opportunity to showcase their beautiful animals. And I'm here with my good friend, Tyler. How are you, man? How's it going? So tell me, what's all here today? Uh, so everything we have here today is kind of like, you know, an all-around kind of uh, big picture of everything we have. Mm -hmm. um, everywhere from we're working with Baleopterich to, you know, put out some of these larger angels, like the true personifer, you know, scribbled, really exciting stuff. Beautiful. Um, we got everything from like Hawaii, so we got, you know, some of our yellow tangs, um, you know. Some really exciting stuff there. These are the F2 angels, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The F2 yellow tanks, right? Yep, so these guys are all the F2s. Um, we actually have, as far as F2 generations, we have the yellow tangs, the, uh, the Grama de Jong guy, and the Mandarin Dragonets down here. Grama de Jong guy is actually one of my favorite fish because this is the only place that you could get this in the United States. Because this is as a still, I mean, the embargo has lifted, but it's still impossible to get fish out of Cuba and they're the only ones that's allowed and they kept the bread all of this stuff to provide for our hobby and it's amazing what they have accomplished so far i mean how many uh, this is f2 you said yeah these are f2s wow that's amazing and how many of these guys uh, you have here now uh so we have two of the Grauman de Jong guy here ah, um but right we there. still have another probably about like 30 or so back at our facility gotcha yeah, now yeah. can you tell us a little bit about the the I guess a new thing that you found about the Grandma Dijon guy, the color changes? Yeah, so, I mean, like, the cool thing about, like, uh, you know, captive breeding and everything like that is you're always going to get that genetic mutation. Um, so, you know, with clownfish, you get all those designer clownfish. Um, with the Grandma Dijon guy, however, instead of having that normal, like, purple on the top and the bottom fins, uh, for the top fin, you get kind of like a white, and then for the bottom fin, it's almost like a pinkish silver, which is, which is really cool. It also has a little bit of that light bluish tint, and it looks really, really like 
odd and awesome. I, I really like it. Yeah, yeah. We, we call them platinum grandmas because they, uh, awesome. you know, they kind of yeah. look like it. And you guys are also very well known for your clams, which you have some down there. Tell, tell us a little about your clams. Yeah, so right now we have, uh, as far as what we brought here today, we brought some of the squamosas and some of our duraces. Um, we have a couple hundred of the, the uh, duraces at our facility right now, and they're, they're all really beautiful. They have, they're about two inches right now. Yeah. Um, but they have that beautiful like blue mantle to them, and the rest of them have those like really, really cool like golden lines to the center of them. That's awesome. Um, so what can we expect from you guys from this year? Uh, so f as far as this year, you can expect you know a whole lot of new species coming out. We, mm -hmm. pr we pretty much release like a new species every two weeks now. Um, Isn't that amazing? It, it really you is. You know, like 10 years ago, we were releasing maybe like one a year. Now yeah. we're getting like one every two weeks. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, like that's that's pretty much kind of the rate that we're going with some of the new, these new species out here. So we're, we're really looking to, to pump up the market with some new, new fish in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Um, so as, as far as next week, definitely kind of look out on, on social media. We'll be, we'll be putting some stuff up there. Gotcha. Now, if I could ask a personal question, okay. uh, because, you know, I've seen some of the stuff at the facility. When is that Hawaiian cleaner wrasse uh, available to the market? Uh, so we actually, the, the first batch of the Hawaiian cleaner wrasse, we've actually, we've actually sold out. Um, so they're, you guys are supposed to hold one for me. <laughs> they're all gone at the moment. Okay. Um, but we are expecting some, some much larger batches in the near future. Um, so, so look out for the, for the second release of those guys. That's awesome. Well, thank you for uh, spending some time with us, Tyler, and then showing us everything that you have here at the Global Pet Show. And welcome to the show, and you guys are having a fantastic um, outing. I mean, I'm really proud of guys what you guys have done. I look forward to what you provide this year. Yeah, thank you. We look, we're uh, really happy to be here at Global for the first time, and uh, we look forward to all the new things coming up. There's a mountain of stress. There's a mountain right there. Piled up high for your pet. Are they ready to scale it? Oh, no, not quite yet. But you can help calm them and help them succeed. Just follow the path to find what you need.